Welcome again in our today's lesson. Now, we are still solving the questions on this overhanging beam. Now, in our previous uh, videos, we had already plotted the shear force diagram. We had also plotted the bending moment diagram. Now, today, we are going to solve the final question about the beam, uh, which is locating the points of contraflexion or the points of inflection. Now, what is a point of contraflexion? A point of contraflexion is a point whereby bending moment changes sign as well as curvature. And at that point, the bending moment is zero. Now, when we look at our bending moment uh, diagram here, you will find that we have two bending moment uh, uh, diagrams, part of it, which are negative. Whereas this one here is positive. Therefore, these two points, you will find that the bending moment is changing sign. For example, this point one here, the bending moment has changed sign from negative to positive. This second point, the bending moment has changed from positive to negative. And therefore, these two points, whereby bending moment is changing sign, uh, and the points having zero bending moment are the points we are calling points of contraflexion. Now, how do we locate a point of contraflexion? We are going to start with locating this first point of contraflexion, whereby we are going to plot a line that will take us to the loaded beam and we find that at this point which we are calling x is the point of contraflexion on our loaded beam having a span of x meters from point d now to locate this point we are going to take moments about point x this way we are going to have negative 100 kilonewtons that is the point rod at E times the distance from E all the way to X which is how many meters? 9.5 meters plus X meters therefore 9.5 plus X meters then we add an anti-clockwise moment of 165.3 times the distance from B all the way to X therefore that is going to be 165.3 times the distance from B which is 5.5 meters all the way to X 5.5 meters plus X and finally we are going to have a, a UDL. Between point D and point X, we have a uniformly distributed load whose value is 30 kilo newtons per meter being distributed over a span of X meters. And therefore, that is going to give us 30 times the span over which it is distributed between D and X, which is X meters. So that is a point rod already. Then that point rod is going to act at the mid span of D and X. Then this equation, we equate it to zero. Why are we equating our quadratic equation to zero? The reason being at the point of contraflexion, bending moment is zero and that is why we are equating our equation to zero 
opening the brackets, negative 100 times 9.5, that will be negative 950, minus 100 times x, that is 100x, plus 165.3 times 5.5, uh, that is going to be 909 point 1.5 plus 165.3 times x that is 165.3 x minus that divided by 2 that is 15 x times x that is x squared and then equate our equation to 0 now the right terms Negative 950 plus 901.15, that's going to be negative 40.85. Negative 40.85. Negative 100x plus 165.3x, that is going to be positive 65.3x. And then minus 15x squared, which will be equal to 0. Now, relating our equation uh, in form of a quadratic equation is going to be negative 15x squared plus 65.3x minus 40.8. 5 is equals 0. Now, when you divide through by negative 15, we are going to have x squared minus negative 15, that is 65.3 divided by negative 15, that is going to be negative 4.35x minus or uh, plus so negative 40.85 divided by negative 15 that is going to be positive 2.72 then we equate it to zero now for us to get the value of x we can use the quadratic formula which states that uh, the value of x will be given by minus b plus or minus b squared uh, minus 4ac square root of that divide through by 2a now in this case on our quadratic uh, equation x is a 4.35 that is uh, b and 2.72 that is c therefore the value of x will be given by negative b our b is also negative that is going to be 4.35 plus or minus the square of a negative number is positive therefore we can just write uh, 4.35 squared and then um, minus 4 times a is 1 the value of a is 1 therefore minus, uh, minus 4 times a is 1 times c is 2.72 therefore 2.72 and then the square root of that all over 2 times a which is which is 1 therefore the value of x is going to be 4.35 plus or minus the square root of all this is going to be 2.83 and then we divide through by 2. 
Therefore, uh, when we add, then we divide by 2, we are going to have 3.59 meters. And then when we subtract, divide by 2, we are going to have 0 0.76 meters. So this means that the value of x is going to be 0 0.76 meters. That is x1. And x2 is going to be 3.59 meters. That is from point D to the first point of contraflexion, that distance is going to be 0 0.76. And from point D to the second point of contraflexion, the whole of that distance is going to be 3.59 meters. Therefore, engineers, that is how we usually locate the point of contraflexion. Thank you for watching our video. Thank you for liking our video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and comment.